Welcome to this discussion on the International Energy Agency's Global Hydrogen Review 2024 webinar. We're diving into the key takeaways from the morning session, a session that generated significant buzz within the energy sector. The webinar highlighted the critical role hydrogen is poised to play in the global energy transition, particularly in achieving net zero emissions targets. Indeed. The scale of the challenge is immense, isn't it? How realistic are the projections presented in the review? Ambitious, certainly, but not unrealistic. The review presents a range of scenarios demonstrating the potential for significant hydrogen deployment, contingent on policy support, and technological advancements. Let's unpack some of those key scenarios and the challenges involved in scaling up hydrogen production and distribution. The webinar emphasized hydrogen's potential across various sectors. Can you elaborate on its applications and the specific challenges in each? Absolutely. Hydrogen's versatility is key. We're talking about applications in transportation, power generation, industrial processes, even heating and cooling. The challenge lies in cost-effective production, efficient storage and transportation, and building the necessary infrastructure. And what about the different production methods? The webinar touched upon green, blue, and gray hydrogen. What are the distinctions and their relative merits? The key difference lies in the carbon emissions associated with production. Green hydrogen uses renewable energy sources, resulting in zero emissions. Blue hydrogen utilizes natural gas but captures and stores the carbon dioxide. Gray hydrogen, the most prevalent currently, relies on fossil fuels without carbon capture, leading to significant emissions. The transition to green hydrogen is crucial for long-term sustainability. The webinar also discussed technological advancements driving down the cost of hydrogen production. What are some of the most promising developments? Electrolysis technology is improving rapidly, making green hydrogen production more efficient and cost competitive. Advances in materials, science, and process optimization are also playing a significant role. Furthermore, economies of scale will be crucial as production increases. And what about the infrastructure needed to support widespread hydrogen adoption? This seems like a major hurdle. It is. We need significant investment in pipelines, storage facilities, and refueling stations. International collaboration and standardization are essential to avoid fragmentation and ensure interoperability. The webinar highlighted the importance of supportive policies and regulatory frameworks. What kind of government interventions are necessary to accelerate hydrogen deployment? Governments need to create incentives for hydrogen production and consumption, such as tax credits, subsidies, and carbon pricing mechanisms. Clear regulatory frameworks are also needed to ensure safety and standardization. Investment in research and development is also crucial. And what about international cooperation? Is this a purely national endeavor or does it require global collaboration? It absolutely requires global collaboration. Hydrogen trade will likely play a significant role requiring international agreements on standards, safety regulations, and trade policies. Let's address some of the remaining challenges. What are the biggest obstacles to overcome for widespread hydrogen adoption? Cost remains a significant barrier, particularly for green hydrogen. Infrastructure development requires substantial investment. Public awareness and acceptance are also crucial. Addressing these challenges requires a multifaceted approach. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits are substantial. What are the most significant opportunities presented by a hydrogen-based energy system? A hydrogen-based energy system offers a pathway to decarbonize hard-to-abate sectors, enhance energy security, and create new economic opportunities. It can contribute significantly to achieving global climate goals. The webinar likely included specific examples or case studies illustrating successful hydrogen projects. Can you share some noteworthy examples? Several countries are already making significant strides in hydrogen deployment. For example, some European nations are investing heavily in green hydrogen production and infrastructure. Asia is also witnessing significant growth in hydrogen-related projects. These initiatives demonstrate the growing momentum in the sector. These examples provide valuable insights into best practices and potential pitfalls. What lessons can be learned from these early adopters? Early adopters highlight the importance of early policy intervention, strategic partnerships, and a focus on technological innovation. They also underscore the need for careful planning and risk management. Looking ahead, what is your outlook for the hydrogen market in the coming years? What are the key factors that will shape its future? The hydrogen market is poised for significant growth in the coming decades. Technological advancements, supportive policies, and increasing demand will drive this growth. 
However, the pace of adoption will depend on overcoming the challenges we've discussed. What are some of the key predictions or forecasts presented in the Global Hydrogen Review? The review projects substantial increases in hydrogen production and consumption, with green hydrogen playing an increasingly prominent role. However, the exact trajectory will depend on various factors, including technological progress, policy support, and global economic conditions. The webinar likely touched upon the significant investment needed to scale up the hydrogen sector. What are the key sources of funding and financing? Public funding from governments is crucial, but private investment will also be essential. Venture capital, private equity, and corporate investments are all playing a role. Innovative financing mechanisms such as green bonds are also gaining traction. What are some of the key considerations for investors looking to enter the hydrogen market? Investors need to carefully assess the technological risks, regulatory landscape, and market dynamics. Due diligence is crucial, and a long-term perspective is essential. Collaboration and partnerships are essential for success in this sector. What types of partnerships are most effective? Public-private partnerships are crucial, bringing together the resources and expertise of governments and private companies. International collaborations are also essential to share knowledge and resources. What are some examples of successful collaborations in the hydrogen sector? Several successful collaborations exist involving governments, research institutions, and private companies working together to develop and deploy hydrogen technologies. These partnerships demonstrate the power of collaboration in accelerating innovation and deployment. The webinar likely addressed the social and environmental impacts of hydrogen production and use. What are the key considerations? The environmental impact of hydrogen production depends heavily on the method used. Green hydrogen offers significant environmental benefits, while other methods may have negative impacts. Social impacts include job creation and potential displacement in certain industries. How can we ensure that the transition to a hydrogen-based energy system is equitable and sustainable? Equitable and sustainable transition requires careful planning, stakeholder engagement, and policies that address potential social and environmental impacts. A just transition is crucial to ensure that the benefits are shared broadly. There are often misconceptions surrounding hydrogen technology. What are some common myths or misunderstandings that need to be addressed? One common misconception is that hydrogen is inherently dangerous. While hydrogen is flammable, it is also lighter than air and dissipates quickly. Proper safety measures are essential, but the risks are manageable. Another misconception is that hydrogen production is always environmentally damaging. Green hydrogen production offers significant environmental benefits. How can we effectively communicate the benefits and address the concerns surrounding hydrogen technology? Effective communication requires transparency, education, and engagement with stakeholders. Addressing concerns and providing accurate information are crucial to building public trust and support. Based on the webinar's insights, what is the most effective path forward for accelerating the adoption of hydrogen? A multi-pronged approach is needed, combining technological innovation, supportive policies, infrastructure development, and public awareness campaigns. International collaboration is also essential. What are some of the key policy recommendations that emerge from the webinar? The webinar likely emphasized the need for clear policy signals, supportive regulations, and incentives to encourage investment and deployment. International cooperation on standards and regulations is also crucial. In conclusion, the Global Hydrogen Review 2024 webinar highlighted the significant potential of hydrogen to play a crucial role in the global energy transition. While challenges remain, the opportunities are substantial and concerted efforts are needed to unlock hydrogen's full potential. That's a great discussion. Thank you for your insights.